Hey everyone, and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Koopa Troopa from Super Mario. I'm gonna get started in the center of the page over towards the left at the tip of the beak. So from here, I'm gonna start with a point. From this point, I wanna curve out, almost like drawing a half circle going up towards the top of the cheek. So we start at the point, curve up and out. And we're just gonna round this out, almost like drawing a half circle. And we're just gonna pull that into right about there. Now I wanna layer the eyes in behind the top edge of the beak. So from this point, I'm gonna draw almost like an oval. So starting here, we're gonna curve out, go to the top of the oval, now I'm just gonna hook it back down, leaving a gap just along the bottom. Now I'm gonna tuck the left eye in behind this oval. So at the top here, I'm gonna curve up, out towards the left, now I'm gonna pull this down and in on top of the beak. Now I'm gonna add two ovals for the pupils, but we're gonna shift them over towards the right side. So let's start with the right one first. So right here, I'm gonna draw a small oval, and I'm gonna fill that in black. Now we're going to draw the left pupil just below this line here in the center, starting on the top, curve down to the bottom, and then back up. We're going to fill that in black as well. Now from the bottom tip of the beak, I want to give him a little bit of a smile. So from here, we're just going to curve up and then out towards the right. Now from here, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction towards the top of the mouth, going to the top of the mouth. Now the mouth is gonna be open, so we're gonna start from the top here, we're gonna curve down, and then tuck this in behind the edge of the mouth. Coming down, and curve it across. At the bottom of the mouth, I'm gonna curve up underneath for the tongue, going up like that. Now let's move up to the top of the beak and draw the nostril. So we start on the side here, curve up and out towards the right, I'm just gonna hook it back in. Now going back down to the mouth, we're gonna draw on the lower part of the chin. So from this point in the mouth, we're gonna step down, curve the lower chin, and then pull it in towards the neck. Now let's go back up above the eyes and work our way down the side of the head. So we're gonna start in the middle, in between the eyes, I'm gonna curve up above the eye. Now I'm gonna pull that down on the side. Now we're gonna tuck the left eyelid in behind. So stepping up, I'm gonna curve up, and then just pull that alongside the top of the eye. Now from the bottom of the eyelid, I wanna curve around the cheek and just sort of aim towards this point here, but we're gonna leave a gap for the neck. So from here, I'm gonna step in to create an overlap, curve and round out the cheek. Now I'm aiming towards the bottom of the chin, leaving a little gap in the center. Now let's take the ends of these lines and draw two angled lines coming down for the neck. So on the left side, we'll just come down with a short line do the same length line on the right. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a curve. Now I'm gonna surround the base of the neck with a collar. So from this point here, curve around, go up, and then in behind on the right side of the neck. Okay, so now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm gonna start with the shell first. So we start with the bottom edge of the shell trim, starting from the edge of the neck, and curve out towards the right, and then come down. Now we're gonna curve in the opposite direction towards the edge of the trim. Curving out. Now I'm gonna go back up and just follow that same curve coming down to the bottom. So we're gonna start just beside the cheek and just follow that same curve, leaving an even space gap all the way to the bottom. Now I'm gonna connect those two points with a curve. Now we're gonna tuck the back of the shell in behind the trim. So I'm gonna start right at this corner. We're gonna draw a half circle going out and then just on top of this curve. So let's start up here and go up and out towards the right and round it out and then just aim towards the top of the curve. Now we're gonna add that shell texture in the back here. So we start at the very top. I'm just gonna curve over and then down. From this point, I'm gonna draw a straight line going in behind the trim. Now from that same point, I'm gonna curve up and over towards the left, towards the top of the shell. Now from this bottom point, I'm gonna curve down and then in behind the trim. And then from that same point, I'm gonna curve out towards the right, towards the side of the shell. Now from the front of the collar, I'm gonna curve out the belly and then tuck this in behind the trim. Starting at the front here, I'm gonna curve out, round out the belly, and I'm gonna pull that in towards the bottom of the shell. Now in this space here, I'm gonna add the arm. 
So let's start at the base of the collar. We're going to curve down and then over towards the left. We're going to add the thumb, so it's a little half circle going up and then down. We're going to add a little bracket at the end of the thumb. Now on the side of the thumb, we're going to go around the bracket and then go out towards the right. Now we're going to stack two more fingers. We're going to step back, curve down, and then back up. Now the third finger, we're going to go around. We're going to taper the arm up towards the shoulder. So going around. Now we're going to go a little bit narrower as we come up towards the side of the trim. I'm going to connect those two points with a curve for the shoulder, just going across. Now we're going to be drawing the character in a walking position. So you're going to see the top of the right foot and then the bottom of the left foot. So let's start down here. Start at the bottom of this curve, come down, and then back up for the cuff of the shoe. Now right along the side, we're going to step down, we're going to come down, we're going to curve and round out the tip of the shoe, and we're going to bring that back up and in. Now right here, I want to draw another curve going in behind the shell trim for the heel. Now we're going to take that same curve, we're going to step in and just duplicate it, going across. And then from here, I want to taper down toward the tip of the foot. So it gets narrower and we come down. Now the left foot's going to be lifted off the ground. So we're going to start with the top of the shoe. So from here, we're going to step down, curve into the body, and then out and down. Now from here, I'm going to do a hard turn, curving down and then back over towards the right. Now this is the heel section. From here, I'm gonna curve out towards the heel. Now let's do another hard turn coming in towards the ankle. Curving out and then up. Now we're gonna round up the ankle, going around and then in behind the body. Now let's go back to the tip of the foot here. We're gonna curve in the opposite direction. Curving out towards the right and then in towards the heel. Now from here, we're gonna do another curve coming down towards the heel out and then down. Let's take those two curves and just duplicate it for the trim of the shoe. Stepping up, curve across. Now we're gonna do another hard turn going around towards the heel. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a straight line. Now we're gonna move up and draw the left hand coming out from the body. So let's start just up here on the side of the body. We're gonna curve up, curve down. Now I'm just gonna swirl this back up for the thumb. From this point, I'm going to step down and just hook back the palm. Let's stack the fingers in behind the thumb. So on the side here, we're going to go out, round out the finger, and then pull that in behind the thumb. Do that again. We're going to step down, go around, in, and then tuck that in underneath the thumb. One last time. Go back in. Now at the bottom of this finger, I'm just going to hook the bottom of the palm and go up and behind the body. Now the last thing we're going to do is add a couple stripes along the body. So we start on the side here, we're going to curve down and then in behind the arm. We're going to step down and curve this in behind the hand. Now we're going to continue that curve in behind the shell trim. You're going to see a little bit of this curve coming in between the arm and the shell trim. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Koopa Troopa from Super Mario. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.